What's up, YouTube? My name's Kevin Humphreys. I'm here to do my first review today on the E-Leaf 220. Uh, when I first bought the mod, it was about $80 to get. It takes two dual 18650s, which I have fully charged. The mod can go up. Um, it does go up by points, you know, points at a time. Um, it stays at about 3.3 3 .3 volts. Uh, the tank I'm going to be using today is the Valerian, the first gen. And the juice that I'm going to be using is 3 milligram, keep it 100 blue slushy. Today I'm going to be doing a wattage test as well as an ohmage test. So I'm gonna start. I just really want to watch and break in and see really how how this mod does on power. I know I've had this tank on what the coil's max rating of 120 is on a different mod and so and I know it was probably getting more wattage than it said it was getting <sighs> fill up my tank the, again this is my first my first uh, blog, so just kind of bear with me. I'm not really used to this. I haven't done it before. Again, this is my E-Leaf 220. And I'm going to put it at 85 watts to start out. Here we go. Solid hit, real easy to to hit. Um, three taps to take you into your menu, and then you can control your menu using your. You can't quite see it because I had the black one, but there's my little charger port, um, and then the the up and down. It'll jump back to the screen, to where you can actually you can put it by temperature. Turn that around so it's readable. 420 or 450 is the temp. So three back. Take back the wattage. All right, now I'm gonna be going up just five points up, just five more up to 90. Second bait, 90 watts. So it's definitely a little bit more powerful than uh, any of the other wattages on different mods that I've used and I've used unregulated. Um, and this isn't the tank that I'll be doing a lot of my uh, reviews with. I also have this Vapresso. Um, I actually ended up, it, it's an RTA and I ended up cracking the glass. so. I've ordered replacement glass and I will be getting replacement glass in soon. And my juice of choice for that is uh, Gorilla Warfare. The Gorilla Warfare. It, this is a zero. It is a zero. Um, I don't know if you can, you can really see that written. 
right there is it is a zero milligram so no nicotine which is if you're gonna vape no nicotine obviously you're doing it for the flavor and you're chasing clouds but say for instance you want you want to quit smoking cigarettes you probably don't want to use a high nicotine you probably want to come down to like a three a three is a real comfortable nicotine level that's not really harsh on your lungs and really kind of you know it just three milligram nicotine is really a good amount if you if you really need your nicotine to wing you off but personally i like a zero is i just that's how i am i like the flavor i do i do vape with nicotine i do have vape set up for nicotine and stuff so but I'm going to do take three. We're going to bring this up instead of that five. We're gonna bring it up to a hundred watts. Show you what it says, 100. And you can see as I go up, you see it changing over there, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. 0.5, 0.6, 7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 101. So change that back to 100. <coughs> so the one thing I've okay, so let's talk about the pros and the cons. The pros and the the pros of this mod is it's it fits comfortably in your hand. It it does weigh. It is pretty light. I mean, my tank itself weighs probably probably more than the mod without the batteries. The batteries weigh about combined weight of the. I don't know. It, it, it's it's a lot lighter than any other mod so I mean I have this little one I picked up at the uh, tobacco shop for for uh, it was like thirty dollars I believe it's in a ECT it's a C30 mini so it's, it's like I said it's only 30 40 watts it's it's a pretty pretty interesting little mod it's just simple it's for it'd be a good a good starter kit for anyone that's new to vaping stuff like that and I mean this way is about the same as this but this this is made with a lot better quality maybe I mean the batteries add a little extra weight of course if you're gonna have a battery mod you can expect to have some weight as to where if you have a built-in battery mod you can they get a little bit lighter because they can use different batteries they use lithiums and stuff um, you can charge it does it does have a, a specific order for charging the batteries to charge them both at the same time equally and keep them you know so that you never kill both batteries you can't there's always a little bit of charge left in one battery and it, the mod does it that way so that it's never too dead. Um, this mod works, this mod itself, I've noticed that really depending on the tank and the coil, but the bet, like with an RDA, uh, I use, I use braided Clapton's in it, in my RDA that I have. And I'd say this this mod you still probably don't want to take over a hundred. I have noticed that when you get up to like as you're climbing and you're coming towards that two hundred number and there's that two twenty, it will drain your battery really quick. Like like within within ten, fifteen hits it could kill your battery. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just 
just for the fuck of it, I'm going to try and hit it at 220 to really kind of show you the difference. Okay, the tank definitely couldn't handle it. So, good thing I have new coils. <laughs> I definitely, good thing I have plenty of new coils for this. And I'll probably end up switching over my flavor bar and doing a full clean on my tank. And probably after this video, I'm going to come back down to, I'm going to go low. I'm, the best, the sweet spot for this mod is 75.7 watts. Even with this tank, that is the sweet spot for it. That's where you're going to get the most flavor out of your tank probably the best vapor production and you're you're really gonna get to experience it without having that that charred burn taste or really blowing through your coils and having to do so um starting the first of february i'll be i'll be hopefully trying to start a channel and doing things like that and then i'm gonna eventually once I get some uh, mods and stuff in that I ordered offline, I'm going to start doing giveaways. And then I'm going to start going up to uh, vape shops and doing reviews on mods. Um, I'll be, the first shop I'll be doing a review at is My Vape Co. off of uh, Jefferson Street in Joliet, Illinois. So that'll be my first, my first stop. I'm gonna, I know, I know the owners up there, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to them and really just kind of set up a day to go up there, do a show, do a shoot, introduce all my viewers to everybody and kind of just see, see what happens. See, see either, I mean, this, this blog thing's either gonna take off or it's not. I can't tell you guys to sit here and follow me. And, I just want to make sure that I keep it real, that I don't lie to you. I want you to know what you're buying before you buy it so that you're not wasting your money. Um, and one of the hardest things about shopping for a vape is, man, what, what mod I don't want to waste my money. I need to know what a good mod is. So, and for the money, th this mod is actually a really good mod. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it at 75.7 watts, the sweet spot. And again, there, there's all my flavor back. That's probably the biggest cloud I think I've blown since I've been sitting here. Actually, I'm gonna try an even bigger one. So. Thing's got a lot of flavor. That so when I come back on my next blog, you can follow me. I'm gonna start doing my blogs on Tuesdays after the first of February. It'd be every Tuesday. I'll be uploading a new video. Um, the first 100 viewers will receive a brand new in the package C30. Um, the second. The first 100,000 viewers will receive a package from Gorilla Warfare. Um, it comes with two bottles of this. Um, I'll, of course, I'll be giving you a mod and a, a little tank to go with it. I haven't decided exactly what which mod and tank I'm going to put with it. Um, and then the first half million viewers will receive a new one of these brand new in the package um i may throw a tank in with it i may throw an rda in with it i'm still undecided yet but i'm gonna see how things go with this order i placed what all i have and 
<clears throat> what's left after my reviews. So, again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.